Hello Detectives, the Batman's Journal here. Today we're diving into something that's got all of Gotham buzzing. We're talking about the trailer for the new Batman animated series, Batman Kicked Crusader. I'm a little behind on the video due to some other cases I've been working on, but I waited to watch this trailer until I could film my reaction for you guys. Now, if you're like me, always chasing shadows and looking for the truth, this one's going to be a treat. Let's see what DC and Amazon Prime has in store for us. question on everyone's mind these days. What do you think about the Batman? I'm liking the 1940s. Hmm. That looks like the shadow kind of firefly. So they ought to catch that freak and lock him up. I won't say it's going to be easy, but catching criminals is what we do. So this one goes to the Gordon. Is that Vicky or We're going to take him down. What do we know about this Batman? He's been beating the tar out of muggers and dope peddlers out there the last few weeks. That's what I like to hear. I want to hear the beginning of Batman. Night driving that hot rod of his 100 miles an hour. Very 1930s looking Batman, though. Love it. How corrupt are those police, though? This man is not a hero. He's a criminal. And his time in Gotham is up. I'm guessing that's the mayor. Three explosions in two weeks. Not sure I like the Alfred. There's something more going on here. Very creepy. Don't think they could get away with that in the 90s, Batman. He knows too Man. much. He's an itch that needs to get Carmine Falcone, maybe? Our first look at Catwoman. Harvey Dent. Harley Quinn. We could be looking at an all-out gang war on the streets of Gotham. Huh. That's what I want to see is gang wars. That's not Vicky Vell. That doesn't look like it. To replace anyone you take down. Probably. Penguin. Okay, cool. But now they'll all know I'm coming for them. <laughs> Alright. August 1st, guys. August 1st. Hmm. All right, that looks like that's the end of it. So, what did I think? I think that, um, let me blow this up just a little bit. So, based off this trailer, it's very much what I was hoping for, which is a 1940s gritty Batman. If you watch my channel, that's the kind of stuff that I really enjoy. I've actually gotten in trouble because, uh, I'm in trouble. I've actually gotten, uh, some bad reactions because I wasn't a fan of some of the other Batman projects that have been released recently. And, you know, I'm not going to settle for content that isn't there. That isn't the thing that I want. I'm not going to lie to you guys and say, oh yeah, I'm very excited about uh, this Batman Christmas movie that came out. No, if I don't like something, I'm going to tell you about it. And I'm going to be honest because this is what you guys want to see. You don't want to see phony stuff. Uh, so, Batman Cape Crusader, just thinking about it, we did not get a pic we did not get an image of the Joker. I know see, I have not been reading any of the news articles that come out. So I don't know everything that happens. The only thing that I did see was like a headline and it said Harley Quinn is kind of like a dominatrix. And she's a different color palette seemed in the in the trailer. Let me uh back some of this up. Just have it going in the background. But I love see this right here, I don't know who this is, but just at first glance, it reminded me of the shadow because he's got the black. That's another pulp hero. He's got the black hat, the red uh, uh, mask over his face. Firefly, his uh, his costume, not really my favorite. I I I would have preferred something more along the lines of uh, the Batman animated. Uh, Batman animated, not animated, the Batman uh, Arkham games. See, so I don't know who this is. I don't know if this is supposed to be uh, Montoya or who. And I, I like that I don't know all the answers. And so this female cop, you know, based off the hair, I went with uh, Vicky Vell. I don't know who it is because uh, she was shooting a gun. If Vicky's going to be doing that, that's cool. The outfit does look kind of um, like Summer Gleason from the from the animated series. 
Uh, let's see. I love that Batman is not, or that he's going to be chased by the police. I don't like it whenever Batman's buddy buddies with the cops. Uh, Jim Gordon's the only cop that I want to see him being able to talk to. That's just me. Uh, I love seeing him in the shadows. I want to keep him. And I, I know that they said that they're going to keep him very low gadget. And that is something I'm very excited for. And this car is actually, it's funny. Uh, I was playing Grand Theft Auto recently. And this car looks very much like one of the ones that you can uh, purchase. And it's just like a 1930s hot ride type of car. And uh, I would have preferred maybe like the one of the more classic Batman uh, comic book cars. But this one is great as well because it fits the time. Um, again, Alfred, uh, we've got a pretty plump Alfred here. I'm not really a fan of this look, but you know what? He's, uh, it's a, I, I guess it is a callback to uh, the way that Alfred originally looked in the comics before they killed him off and then brought him back to life. And that would have been like in the sixties when they did that, but it's, uh, it'll separate him. And this spider on the eye, very creepy. I don't think that could happen. Uh, that couldn't happen. Uh, back in the 90s animated series. Um, I love that we're seeing Batman, this technology he's having to use uh, just to zoom in. Uh, you know, just thinking about it. This guy, it's possible he kind of looks like the Holiday Killer or what the Holiday Killer was supposed to be. Um, so maybe that's him. I don't know. And... I'm glad that I don't have all the answers for everything. I want there to be surprises for me. Um, they went with the classic Catwoman outfit. I'm not uh, saying that it's my favorite, but it's cool that we get a different, a different, um, a different view of the character. And then, of course, Harvey Dent starting out as a politician, um, and then, of course got Harley Quinn here. She doesn't have any red on her. They replaced uh, that with yellow and this looks like green. It's either black or green. But a very different look for her. We'll see how she goes in, in the... We'll see how she appears in the show. You know, there's been a lot of changes from when Harley Quinn was originally brought out in the 90s. I'm not saying that it's my favorite or that I like the way that they've been going with things. So I'm not really a big fan with all, with all of the changes they've done for her, but you know, she's only been around since the nineties. So that's only been about 30 years. If you look at, uh, where Batman went from the 19, when he first appeared in 1939 to 1979, he was a completely different character. He had different iterations he went through. So that's what I try and keep in mind whenever I see changes that happen. Uh, Maybe this will turn out to be one of my favorite interpretations. I don't know. We'll see. I do like how it's darker. I have no clue who this guy is. He looks kind of like uh, Spellbinder. I cannot remember. Uh, I cannot remember. There's another. There's another character from the comics, and I cannot remember his name. But he kind of looks like that. I do like this very uh, 1940s gangster-looking outfit that he's got on over it, though. And then we've got the Iceberg Lounge, but it's on a yacht, so that's awesome. Uh, gang war is going on, and yeah, again, uh, I'm assuming that whoever this is is a police officer. Maybe this is Renee Montoya, I'm not sure. And that looks like Harvey Dent, would be my guess. And then I'm guessing that's Clayface, we've got the Penguin, Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of this stuff we we definitely could not have gotten away with. We definitely could not have gotten away with uh with this kind of stuff back in the day. I don't know if there's Clayface or if it was a ghost or what it was. But yeah. Alright guys, that wraps it up. I'm very happy with uh what we've got so far. I haven't been reading the news articles, but I might make a separate video on that of my doing reactions to that and just like get an idea of what they have coming planned for us. If you if you would like to see that, let me know. 
and I'm going to call that, call this a wrap. Please post in the uh, comments anything that I had wrong or what, or what I missed or it, which characters I got wrong, stuff like that. Um, and let me know what you think. I think because they didn't show us the Joker, I, I mean, of course they're going to have the Joker in this. I think that means there's going to be a build up for him. And I'm excited for that. Uh, and I'm very, very excited with this take that they've gone. Very low tech, 1940s Batman noir. Very, very much um, excited to see this interpretation of the Batman. So that's going to be it for today. I'll talk to you guys soon.